Go from amateur to pro level ball striking with this drill here. Once you get this move into your golf swing, you will not go back to having poor ball striking. You'll always have that good quality ball striking locked in. And it is the ball in between the arms drill. This trains an extremely good move through the golf ball like you see all the top players do. Now, if you just keeping this ball in between the arms, that's all you need to do for this drill. I've had tremendous success for this drill, but rather than talking about me, let's talk about one of my students who he absolutely transformed his golf swing, dropped a ton of shots and improved his ball striking. So let's have a look at David's swing before and after and talk about how it's helped him so much, how it's gonna help you. So to start off talking about this drill that will transform your ball striking, let's look at a before and after of my student, David. So what we're gonna see here with David on his before, he had this tremendous amount of trail side bend coming into the downswing where he really crunched up. And then from there, because he was getting so much lower to the ground with that trail side dropping down, overly crunching, he had to break down the structure of his lead arm. It had to really bend up on him, creating a big lack of width going through the golf ball. Now, why that happened is because if he extended the arms out from here, had more of a traditional look, he'd hit probably about five foot down into the ground. So not ideal. So that's where his body natu naturally, instinctively, had this left arm breakdown to get the club back out the ground again. But as we know, that's going to be an inconsistent way to hit the golf ball. Lots of hand rotation, as we can see post-impact. Look at how much these hands are flipping over. That right hand whipping over that left wrist going into a huge amount of extension, of course, just cramped up from what the body was doing. To where then, when we got after this drill, look at what we're seeing here. So we've got a little bit of a feel here, which we're going to talk about at the end of the video, which is something to do after you do the drill. But look at this amazing difference. Now, barely any of that excessive trail side bend. I'd argue he's side bending in the exact right time and right amount. Now look at this nice amount of shaft lean. And then coming into the golf ball, lovely compression. Look how different this is. So now he's got that straight left arm, keeping the radius of the swing nicely. And then post impact, look at this nice width. I mean, look at these two positions. Even if we get ourselves to mid downswing here, let's say, in between left arm parallel and shaft parallel, let's say right around here. Look at the incredible difference of just body structure. Amazing. All done via one drill. So let's get into that drill. Let's have a look at it. The same analysis window and we'll get right into it. Okay, so let's look at the drill in action here. So on the right, this is our drill. Now from the intro, as you saw, I was using a ball training aid, which we're gonna describe in a minute. But David here was using a head cover in between his arms. So why this is so useful here, as we can see him moving down into the shop, keeping this head cover in between his arms because it maintained his structure of his arms going through the golf ball. So like we knew when he had this big side bend going into the ball, his left arm broke down so he could hit the ball and not chunk it to all ob oblivion. So what we see with him here, we can see he has to keep this in between his arms, which is keeping his pivot much more upright. Now it's slightly exaggerating, of course, the other way of staying really almost overly upright, but that's the key to make a change in your golf swing. You've got to exaggerate as much as you can. But just him keeping this in between his arms, you can see at how much of an improvement it's made to his overall structure of his body. And some things we're gonna talk about in a minute when I get back on camera, the actual benefits of why we're doing this, because we're not just doing this for an aesthetical change. An aesthetical change is not a reason to change a golf swing in my mind, because we can see players throughout history do this type of move absolutely fine. Lee Westwood being one of them, he has a very similar move to David here, but is David Lee Westwood? No. So that's where outliers are outliers for a reason. There is absolutely a massive reason functionality wise of why we changed this and it was all via this drill which really got him to having that really awesome awesome ball striking so we have something in between our arms just like this keep it in between the arms and then we work a hell of a lot at it but let's talk about it more 
on camera. So like we saw with David there, working with that head cover in between his arms, where I'm going to use an uh, old impact ball here, it cleared up how his body was moving in the downswing. He had that real excessive side bend like we saw, lead arm broke down to be able to get the club coming back out the ground again. Because if he didn't, if he extended, he's just going to fat the golf ball. So that's where keeping structure and having that for him anyway, head cover in between the arms. If he was gonna have this ball stay in the arms, he had to stay more upright with the body. Like we said, it maintains your arm structure and then we're just gonna move through the golf ball a little bit better. As a result, like I said, I've used this a ton in my game. I had problems as well, as you've seen probably from some of my videos where I've been talking about my swing. I had a little bit of an excessive side bend also like David did. I worked on the same thing along with another drill, but this was a huge player. And it, for me as well, cleared up how I was moving in my pivot because I have to keep this in between my arms to be able to do so. So yes, absolutely, that aesthetical part of the golf swing gets a lot better, but that's not the reason why we change anything in the golf swing is to look better. It's because of how it makes the golf club and the club face function. So when we're not having this big, tremendous side bend like David had, and we have this better extension, longer arc is what we call it, post impact, is it keeps this, the club face, a lot more stable. It has a lot less of a chance to flip over. So it does that one because the elongated, the longer, more elongated the arc, the more the club face is going to stay square to that arc. So that means you'll have less time to flip that club face over. So that's one big thing. And for you to be able to do that, you've got to do a really important thing and that's rotation. You've got to turn through the golf ball well. And this is a great drill and a great training aid to help you rotate better through the golf ball because you have to do it with this in the arms. Your body will instinctively try to do it as well. So that's why working on something that gives you this post-impact feel, gets you achieving a position post-impact, why it works at the golf ball. Because of course, the ball's already gone by the time we get to this finished position that we're trying to achieve. I'd said to Dave, we want to get to that position here. But you have to get to these other bits to be able to achieve that. So it's called self-organization. So self-organization is something where we achieve a specific goal somewhere in the swing and your body self-organizes itself to be able to do that. So like alignment stick drills, avoidance drills are very much the same thing. So you get yourself into a position, force yourself like with this ball and your body figures out what it's got to do. So when it's figuring out what it's got to do, that's where the improvement process will be really sped up. I work on this type of stuff with my coach, Lee Cox, world best long drive coach. I talked about him a lot recently. Now, he's always used this type of stuff with me, self-organization. And it's something why I believe with my own golf swing, why I can make a swing change really quite fast because we always do these type of drills. And yes, coaches like myself have coaches too. All of them do. So that's where using something like this, is just a little bit of a shortcut to getting moves into your golf swing. So if you want to rotate better, you want better club face control, and you want just generally straighter shots, this is a good way to go. So like you've seen me do the whole time here, just little half swings. That's about all you can really do with this, is little half swings up because you can't really swing full with it. But we're training that movement going through the golf ball. So then when you take this ball out of the way, what you start to do from there is you replicate that same feeling. Try to emulate this drill without the ball in between your arms. It's the exact same thing, and I want to stop post-impact nice right here, and it's going to make you shoot and hit these really nice shots. And look how extended I am. So I'm not extended via just chucking the arms forward. I'm turning and extending through. It's a brilliant, brilliant way to go and work on your swing and get your drill into your game a little bit more of an organic way. So again, nice extended. We'll see from both angles. I've got really good rotation, got really good extension post impact. And I just know if I continue to work on that and then implement that same feel after a good amount of practice into a fuller swing, I'm gonna then be playing tremendously about better golf than I was before. Cause I'll be controlling club face better, rotating better. Even my strike location and low point will be tremendously better. It's one of those training aids, whether it's using the train aid or a head cover like David was using, which can just get you a tremendous amount of gains really, really fast. Stop trying to think things into your golf swing. Use something that helps you get in there. Self-organization, really, really important. 
that's how you can work on something and get other bits before it into your swing. So, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button for more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button too, to be notified every single time I put out a video. So guys, also, if you wanna work with me on Skillist, just like you saw with David here, that's where all the lessons were done online via Skillist. There's a link in the description there. Golf season's upon us, so let's get working.